Today we are looking at a completely rebuilt MEC 3 ton mixer. This is a ribbon mixer. It has a ribbon on the inside of the mixing chamber. I'm just going to do a walk around of the unit before we go over this unit's specifications and we test run this unit. This unit's motor was replaced shortly before this mixer was removed. The gear drive or gearbox on this unit was replaced three years before this unit was removed. Both the motor and the gear drive have very little use on them. We're just doing a walk around of the unit. You can see the discharge end here. This unit has been completely rebuilt and is ready to run for a long time. This unit has a rack and pinion gate on the discharge end. When you're mixing feed, you would have it closed. And then after you're done mixing feed, you would open it. And the turning action of the ribbon would discharge the feed out the uh, discharge end here. The discharge dimensions are 18 inches by 17 and 1 half inches. This unit has these nice flip up doors. You can see them there. They totally enclose the mixer, make it safe. We have one here at this end that flips up and out of the way. And then we have one here at the discharge end. And then we have this solid piece here that could easily be cut into and uh, have a discharge spout routed into there. You can see down inside of the mixing chamber here, everything is nice and clean. This unit was thoroughly sandblasted and cleaned up before we primed it. The ribbon on this unit is in excellent shape. It has very little use. I would say that it is in like new condition. We are going to discuss the dimensions of the mixing chamber. The width of the mixing chamber is 48 inches in width from this point to that point over there. The length of the mixing chamber from this point to that point at the discharge end of the mixing chamber is 137 inches. The height of the mixing chamber from the bottom of the mixing chamber up to this edge is 50 inches. And the distance from the bottom of the mixing chamber to the top of the ribbon is 49 inches. The ribbon dimensions are 48 inches in diameter, so the ribbon is 48 inches in diameter, and the length of the ribbon is 134 inches. This unit has this nice totally enclosed safety shield, makes things very safe. It also has this easy service door here. You remove these four wing nuts and this comes off easily. Okay, I've removed the service door. You can see it there. Now we have access to the drive components of this mixer. This allows you to uh, have easy access to the bearings, makes it easy to grease them, keep up on the maintenance. You can see the main bearings down there. We replaced the roller chain on this unit. It has brand new roller chain, brand new bearings here, and brand new main bearings there. When we rebuilt this unit, we replaced the main drive sprocket down there. We replaced this idler sprocket, and we thoroughly inspected the main sprocket on the drive end of this mixer. The teeth on it are in excellent shape. It shows very little wear and will run for a very long time. The overall dimensions on this unit are 180 inches in length by 65 inches in width by 72 inches in height. We're going to fire the unit up for you now so you can see how well it runs. Starts right up, motor starts strong, runs strong. We've thoroughly test ran this unit. There are no issues or irregular noises. You can see down inside of the mixing chamber here, you can see the ribbon turning around. This unit hums right along. There are no irregular noises. Runs nice and smooth, nice and quiet. See the main shaft turning there. It's just 
just an all-around good unit. You can see the drive side of the unit. Everything hums along. There are no irregular noises. As I said before, the motor on this unit was replaced with a new one shortly before this unit was removed. And the gearbox on this unit was replaced three years before this unit was removed. Both the motor and the gearbox have very little use on it. It's just an all-around nice unit. It's ready to be installed and go back to work for a long time.